What's up guys? This is your boy Jesse Keller and today it's gonna be another episode of Jesse's Collectible Showcase. And this month's episode is just gonna be about almost everything I got this month, with the exception of two things that I left at uh my boy Nate's house. I'll do an apology video about that rant some other time when I'm ready. But Let's get do it, shall we? First off, we have the sick ass fucking Black Sabbath shirt. On the front, it says the original Black Sabbath. Underneath the picture, it says Symptom of the Universe. The back doesn't have anything. And I got it at Hot Topic for 25 bucks. They were having this deal where it was you buy one shirt, get the next for 5 bucks. That's a cool deal. I would have gotten a $5 shirt, but at the same time, I didn't find anything else I liked there. Plus, I also had other shit to get. <clears throat> These next uh, couple things uh, are early birthday presents from the homie Nate. This one is a documentary, The Rise and Fall of ECW. ECW was a uh, 90s hardcore wrestling promotion. Featured some badass dudes like Taz, Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero, Terry Fung, Paulie Dangerously, who is now the manager for Brock Lesnar, Rob Van Dam. You know, got a lot of cool wrestlers from the 90s and 2000s to get their start and shit. And this one is the best of uh, Triple H, Triple H the King of Kings. Uh, there's only one. I lo I really like the fucking picture they have right there at the skull in front of the face. <clears throat> so both of these are two disc sets, I think. Let me check. Yeah, both of them are two disc sets. I am plan on reviewing one of them sometime uh, next month. Yeah, in eight days is my birthday, so uh, this. I got for two bucks and fifty cents. This is I already posted on the Jesse's Collectible Showcase website. It is a nineteen sixty seven Rolling Stones poster. The original price was five bucks, but I talked them down to half off. It's cool, it's fifty years old. I have yet to see how much it was worth. And uh this I got. It's a Toys R Rust edition WWE Network Spotlight. Undertaker figure elite and it's of the Ministry of Darkness which happened in 98-99 it's kinda cool it has that hooded robe and shit I haven't been getting much wrestling figures recently for display purposes and all that mm. these are for the Hot Wheels that I got the other two are like I said at Nate's house but this one is a 69 Dodge Charger 500. I kind of like the two-tone enamel green with the fucking matte black. One of my more favorite designs. The only thing that would have made it more badass is if it was an RT. Uh, a blue 32 Ford. The red one. I also got, but that one's at Nate's. Hope you guys can see it very well, other than the fucking glare. Blue 32 Ford. I like this a lot better than the red one because it's a Ford, and I think blue goes better with it. Feels like an old 30 Chevy. Then kind of like a blood, metallic blood red would go good with that. A... 1967 uh, Austin Mini Cooper van. This one's cool. I kind of like that gloss yellow. I don't like a whole lot of cars where there's yellow on it. I don't know why I just don't. But this one's badass. This one is a Zamac. Zamacs are limited edition. They only make them at Walmart and their shit. And, uh... I can't remember if it they only make like 15,000 or 20 of each, but 
Like, the bodies are, uh... Yeah, the bodies are not painted or anything. Well, let me fix my shades. So the tuned Volkswagen Beetle. I kind of like that they brought back the Tune series. The Tune series was like the shit when I was a kid with the Hot Wheels and stuff. They basically made them look like fucking caricature versions and stuff, you know? And then this book I got is an autobiography of Bob Backlund, who's a former Worldwide Wrestling Federation champion for about five years. I'm a little over halfway through the book, and uh, this comes off like... I'm at the part where he's like right after he beat uh, Billy Graham for the title, too. But... That's all I have for today. I don't really have much else to say and whatnot or then you know yeah my birthday is coming up soon I'm probably gonna make a video talking about you know cool shit that I like for my birthday and I know what you're thinking you probably are wondering why I haven't gotten any records recently it's because my record player is out of commission it has a fucking broken speaker last record I listened to on it before the speaker fucking blew was blackout by scorpions so, I'm mainly sticking to cassettes, and, ah, oh, fuck, that's another thing that I, I forgot where it was, I can't find it at the moment. No, wait, wait a minute, I got it right here. This is cool, this is really fucking cool, this is a 1962 uh, Live at the Star Club Beatles tape, I got this for uh, 50 cents at the Goodwill. And I normally don't like a lot of live albums and shit, but it's the Beatles. I like one of my favorite bands. And it's cool because it has all the original members. This was, you know, back when fucking Pete Best and uh, Stuart Sutcliffe were playing. And if you guys want me to do a review either on the documentaries or the book, just hit me up in the fucking comments uh, section below. Make sure to check out my page, Jesse's Collectible Showcase, and I'll see you next time.